Hi, I'm Courtney, and I'm going to walk you through how to install a 17th Avenue design theme today. Over the next series of videos, I will walk you through how to customize the theme and uh, plug in your colors and all of that kind of thing. So let's start with the documentation that you will receive once you purchase your theme. You will receive this document and you are going to click on theme documentation and it's going to take you to this web page and you're just going to click on the theme that you purchased. I purchased the clover theme so I'm going to go ahead and click on clover. It brings you to a whole series of hyperlinks that will take you to different pieces of information that you're going to need depending on what you're trying to do. So here I'm just going to walk you through, there's a page for introduction. It talks all about how to get set up, how to set up your permalink structure, um, and all of that uh, for new websites. Next, under uh, quick setup, we are going to look at the four main steps for installing your theme, starting with setting up the Genesis framework, followed by your Clover theme file, installing the recommended plugins, and then importing the demo content and widgets. So we're going to start by setting up the Genesis framework. We're going to click on the link provided. And when you do so, you will be forwarded to a website where you enter your information and get that file. Once you've downloaded the Genesis file, we're going to head over to WordPress and install it. Here I'm going to show it to you in two different um, hosts views um, because we may not have the same host and it can look very different depending on who your host is. So you navigate to appearance, go to themes, add new theme. And then we're going to click on upload theme. Once there you click choose file. Then you're going to navigate to where the file is stored in your computer, wherever you downloaded it to. Again, I'm going to show it to you here in a different uh, view. This is just a different host. So the back end looks a little bit different, but the process is just the same. Click choose file and install now. As you can see, it's unpacking the package, installing the theme, and the theme was installed successfully. That's great. That's what we want. Now let's navigate back to the documentation for the Clover theme. And we're going to now install the child theme, which is the theme that you purchased. We're going to follow the same process as we did with the Genesis file. And I'm going to show it to you in both views again. We're going to click uh, we're going to navigate to appearance, to themes, we're going to click add new, and then we're going to upload the theme. You're just going to navigate to where you uh, downloaded your purchase. We clicked on appearance, themes, we're going to go ahead and choose the file, select the file that you downloaded from 17th Avenue Designs, and click install now. It's installing. It was successfully installed. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and activate our theme by clicking activate. And returning to our theme documentation, we're going to click on recommended plugins. So we want to install all of the plugins that are needed to run this theme. Once we activated our theme, it brought up a little message box to begin installing your plugins, which they're indicating here in the theme documentation. And if we go back, you can see it right here. And you're going to click on begin installing plugins. Once you've done that, you're going to navigate over to plugins and make sure that they're all active. If they're not, just go ahead and click activate so that they're all active. 
Next up is importing the demo content. So this is really important um, because it's kind of gonna it's gonna allow you to see what you can do with your theme. It just is some dummy content so that you can start replacing their content with your content. It's gonna make this theme look like the theme that you purchased. So in order to do that, we need to make sure that we have all of the plugins already installed. We're gonna go over to appearance and Clover theme setup. And then there are two versions of this theme. One is for a homepage, uh, like a website homepage, and the other is for a blog homepage. I'm choosing to use the website homepage and I'm just gonna click import demo. And here you're gonna see two optional plugins, the cookie notice and the WP recipe maker. I don't need the recipe maker, but I am gonna do the cookie notice. I'm gonna click import. And then you're gonna see a series of errors come up um, if you don't choose one of them or both of them. I didn't choose the recipe maker, so you're going to see errors thrown for the recipe maker, um, but that's not going to affect me in any way. Import complete. Perfect. And you can see those errors I talked about. And now let's go ahead and check it out and see. As you can see, it looks just like the demo, everything's there, and now our theme is successfully installed. If you're interested in learning how to customize your 17th Avenue design theme, check out the next video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below.